Very, very cold. It's like rock. Like biting. I don't really like this one. In this video, we shall explore some of the ancient local snacks that are peculiar to the Igbo people of Nigeria. So in the olden days, mm. this is the snack that they used to give children when they are going to school. Mm. You understand? Not unlike these days that they used to give them uh, sweet and biscuit. These delicious snacks have stood the test of time and today you are going to see how they are made. Hello guys and welcome back to Epic Full Review. In today's video, I'm going to show you two of the most popular local snacks eaten by the Imo state people. The first one is called Akarajako and the second one is called Abarati. If you are from Imo state, I'm sure you know these two snacks. And today we are going to see how the Imo state people prepare these two local snacks. Let's go. Abarati and Akarajako are very popular local snacks among the Igbos of Eastern Nigeria. The Abarati is made from a mixture of egusi or melon seeds and ero also, which is a type of tuba shaped mushroom. While the akarajaku, as it is called in Imo state, is made from cassava and is usually eaten with coconut. Each Imo state might have a slight variation to the recipe you are going to see in this video. Also, the name of these snacks vary from state to state, so feel free to tell us what you call them in your dialect in the comment section. For the abarati, you will need egusi and ero also. These two ingredients have to be cleaned and grinded to a powder like this. You also need fresh pepper, salt, omoko, which are tender palm leaves, and these particular leaves used for wrapping it. Uh, this leaf is called ahyara. That's what they use to wrap the abarate. You understand? Then this one, mm -hmm. this one is omoko. Uh, they use this one after wrapping it. They use this, this one to tie. This one is, is from palm tree. Palm tree, yes. Yeah. Omoko is from palm tree. So they use it to tie the after putting after it inside, putting inside this uh, ayara. And, uh, what is the English name of this one? I don't know, my brother. <laughs> uh, ayara, that's what I know. Well, that's that because okay. that's what we call it. Uh -huh. Start by pouring the egusi and also powder into a mortar. Mix them till they are well combined and set aside. Now heat up some hot water. As the water is on fire, put the omu into a mortar and mash it up like this. Now pour some hot water into a container and soak the mashed up omu in it for a few minutes. This is done to get the omu extract. Add the extract into the egusi and oso mixture and combine very well to form a paste. Now wash and pound the fresh pepper and mix it with the paste. Also add salt to taste and mix everything together. Now mold the paste into balls. Wrap two to three balls with the ahera leaves and tie tightly. After wrapping all the balls, drop them into a pot of boiling water, cover and cook for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, your abarati is ready. For the akarajaku, you will need cassava, onions, dry pepper and salt. Start by peeling washing and grinding the cassava into a rough paste. Add the cassava paste into a sieve cloth and squeeze out all the liquid content. Now add some powdered dry pepper, salt and pounded onions into the cassava. Mix very well and mold the cassava into your desired shapes. Now heat up some palm oil. When the oil is hot enough, pour the molded cassava into the oil and deep fry till crispy. This should take about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, your akarajako is ready. Uh, these are the two most popular local snacks that we have in our place in Nimo State here. Okay. You understand? Mm. It is very rare to find outside here. Mm, I've yeah. not seen it before. Uh -huh. I've, not, I've, not, I've not seen this one, but it looks like what I've eaten in Ebony State. This okay. one, it looks similar to what I've... There's one thing they call it, but they call it uh, ak akarambala. Mm, this one is akarajaku. We, they use apu to make it. That's a cassava. Cassava, yes, okay. They use cassava to make it. Uh, okay. You understand? So, this one is akarajaku. It's been eaten with cocoa, uh, coconut. Coconut, okay. You understand? Okay, you mix it, you eat yeah, it with this eat one. with coconut. Okay, uh -huh. But this one is abarate. Mm. You eat this one. But this one is pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't worry, you see it now. So this one is abarate and this is akarajaku. Okay, let me start. So, let, me, this one. Uh, let me start let's with see. this one. Mm. 
when you when you pick it, you pick your coconut. coconut. Okay. Yeah. So this, when you eat only this, it's crunchy, very crunchy. But the inside of it is not that crunchy. It's not that hard. But the outside is very, very crunchy. It's like rock, like bite. I don't really <laughs> like this one, only it. But when you eat it with this coconut, when you mix the two, wow, wonderful. The coconut, I think the difference is just this coconut, coconut milk. Yeah. yeah, the coconut milk, when you chew the two together, the coconut milk now intensifies the flavor of this. The taste is something I cannot explain, but it's really, really nice when you eat it with this. So, if you're buying this uh, akarajaku, buy don't forget to buy coconut because normally I don't, I don't, I don't fast it, and it's made from cassava. So you know me, I don't really like things that made from cassava. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is, what is, what is nice when you mix it with uh, coconut? Let me try this other one. Mm -hmm. They tied it very well, so. Okay, all right, guys, let's see. All right, look why it looks like a typical melon. I think it looks like a ball of melon. It looks like one, there's one thing I ate in Abia State. The Abia State people called it um, Aburakbombam. This looks like Aburakbombam. I liked that one that they gave me in Abia State. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is it. Wow, this is nice. Spicy, dense melon taste. Oh my god, this is really, really there's nice. There's no much ingredients, so all these things, you see, there's no much ingredients. Mm, this one is just salt and pepper. Pepper, mm. that's all. But the thing is, the, the, I think the melon itself, with the white, uh, what is it? Also, eroso. Eroso, yeah. Mm. The added inside is, oh my god. And also, I feel like this leaf mm. also gave it a flavor. This is the only leaf that they used to tie it. Mm. And this so leaf must it have added... to add some flavor to the... Right, yeah, this is really nice. Wow. Our mm. grandfather told us. Okay. You understand? So this is now that they used to give them when they are going to school. In the olden days. Back place. then? Back then, yes. Oh, I wish I was born during the time they were giving this to children when they were going to school. Because during our own time... <laughs> 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 wow, this is wonderful, guys. This is this is exceptional. So the two of them, which one do you like? I like this one. <laughs> I don't like the cassava. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the one. This is guys. This is the one I love. Oh my god, this is wonderful. This is very wonderful. If you find yourself in Imo State and you go to any local market, ask them for a barati, barati. or you can ask them for a karajiaku. You will love the two. This is my just my personal opinion about this. It's not like it's not delicious, but normally things made with cassava. I don't really, you know, don't mind me. Okay, you might love this. Okay, if you like crunchy things, you will love this one. But to me, my personal favorite is this sabarate. All right, guys. We've come to the end of today's video. If you love this video, like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, eat to live why I live to eat. I am Mr. Epic and I will see you on the next video.